a fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle. And here I go with quick update to PTS. Quick disclaimer, PTS meant public test server, what meant incoming content, not what's live now. Then those are spoilers. If you don't want any spoilers about what's coming, do not watch. Although, no story spoilers, only technical information. And before we jump in, I have a new Patreon. Welcome Adam Locker into Tartus Army. I appreciate your support. Thank you. And now into those legendary perks. Uh, we'll just take a quick look because I'm expecting there will be a lot of iterations. Oh, first things first. Uh, let's start with a bad news. Although overall, I would say they're doing good job. They're changing stuff. They misinterpreted a lot of uh, feedback from the community. But issue with that is just there is a lot of feedback and not a lot of people responding to this feedback. Therefore, they do not understand it. And uh, here we go. Like in the past, animated pair cards that count as a golden pair cards were giving five coins. Now, there were some complaints that people want to keep those animated pair cards, don't want to be forced to uh, scrap them. And how it was fixed? They're giving one pair coin now. And non-animated pair cards are giving one pair coin per level of the card as well. Then it's like three times as hard to grind pair coins now. I really hope it will get fixed. I hope it's not intended to make it three times as hard to grind those pair coins. It was already hard. There is no need to make it three times harder. Uh, then I hope it will be changed. Like. Uh, give one for animated by swap it and give us five for non-animated. Just reverse it, not like give us nothing for anything. But that's just me, okay. Let's go back to legendary first. Oh, uh, if you have pair card pack, still do not open. There is no info if issue with pair card packs were fixed or not. There is no info about that. Then if you have any pair card packs, do not open them. Unless you are low level, like below level 100, then it's uh, safe to open. But if you are above level 100, do not open them. Okay, it will be not exactly in order because I was testing, just quickly testing couple cards and I have them equipped. And to unequip the pair card, unfortunately, you cannot just swap them on the fly. To unequip, it costs one pair coin. And it's basically like at this moment, because they make it so much harder to earn pair coins, this will like one level up to unequip card and equip a different card. Then it's not very good. Unless it will be changed and we'll get more pair coins or maybe from other source, I don't know. It's still work in progress. It's coming in patch 22. Then we are like two months away. Then don't panic. <laughs> don't panic guys, they are doing some good stuff too. Let's go into the good stuff now. Uh, we have some new pair cards like Anti-Venom. It's good and bad about it. It's giving poison resistance when wearing a matching set of armor, then that's nice. At least they simplify it now and it's matching set of armor. Although I still need to investigate what matching set of armor means. Is it like before, just full set of heavy? Or we'll even investigate in the video after we go over some other cards. There is no problem really. We'll do this investigation in one second. Then we have cleave. That's finally something that do not cause enemies to explode and give you some other stuff like 20% chance for melee VATS attacks to do area damage. That's something more interesting now. And if you rank it up, it's going by 10% increase. Survival shortcut. This one generates survival aiding cam. I still need to get one, but soon I will have one and I will show you what this cam is doing. Uh, every 30 minutes up to total max of five. And if you upgrade it, the max is going up and it generates faster. Then it can be interesting, depend what this cam is. Then we have fire lining. That's basically the same thing as poison resistance, but in this case, it's a fire resistance. But it's not a percentage resistance. It's fire resistance, like a different type of resistance that we do not have in the game at this moment at all. It's a new type of resistance, fire resistance. I don't know if there will be more enemies in the future that will do fire damage because at this moment there is only a couple sources of fire damage and it, I don't see how useful it will be. Fire lining and the other one, 
anti-venom those two does not work in power armor at this moment i don't know why if it's back or intended i hope it's not intended because poison resistance will be awesome buff for a power armor if it doesn't apply for a power armor then yeah then opposite is true then we have legendary strength and this legendary perka can be taken for any special the problem is i do not understand why it's still capped at 15. It's like, uh, it's remove some of the legendary feel from this spare card. Because if I want to use this spare card for my strength, uh, then it's only worth it if my strength is 10 or below. Because if my strength will be 10 or above, the spare card is not very useful for me. Because it just gives me one strength and do not give me the second part, that is the best part. Uh, strength perk points because it's still capped at 15. I will show you example in the moment what I mean. And ammo factory, this one allows to produce more ammunition. That's finally some nice utility and there is more perk cut. Let's take a look on more perk cuts. And we'll test couple after that. But not everything because it's all subject to change. We'll not go into any deep dive into perks that can change in any moment. Then those are old ones. I will not say anything about them because they did not change. It's basically the same stuff. Some of the legendary perkas were removed and unfortunately some of them were really good. Like there is no more heavy duty or stuff like that. That is another misunderstanding of the feedback. Like heavy duty were reducing range damage when you were wearing full set of heavy armor. There was the same per card for sturdy armor and the same pair card for light armor and there was a lot of confusion what is heavy what is sturdy what is light and a lot of suggestions to just make a one pair card for a full set of armor but instead Bethesda decided to remove all those three pair cards and give us poison resistance and fire resistance instead I don't know how I feel about it I think it's like misinterpretation of the feedback and as you can see, there is other legendary, like for every special, as I said, there is a legendary. And this, if you max it out, it's go up to plus five. It's why you can just like, let's say, if you have 10 agility, you max out legendary agility. Where is it? You, here. You max out legendary agility and it will go to 15 then you can have maximum special. You can have more than one special max out to 15 if you choose 10 and then add this legendary per cut. It is quite interesting mechanic. I will not complain too much, although I would prefer to go above 15 for the per cards. Like having more than 15 in perception, allowing me to keep concentrated fire and ground powder would be awesome. But yeah, it is how it is at this moment. Uh, there is new one for power armor uses power sprinter why in power armor sprinting consumes 20% fewer action points It's another utility. Oh and my favorite retribution were heavily nerfed now It's only one HP and one AP regeneration for 15 seconds and you need to block a melee attack Before it was working when you were blocking whatever even bullets and now it's not anymore and regeneration well reduced. I will need to try if I can at least on one my character max it out. But I'm not sure if I can. I can probably max out only one card on my main. Taking into consideration how expensive those cards are. And how little perk points you are getting now from scrapping cards. And it can be hard to do. And other perks are exactly the same as they were. Maybe swap one to show you those legendary stuff. Like, let's remove the strength because, as I show you, the strength is not doing anything for me apart from giving me plus one strength. But that's really not a legendary bonus if you already have 15 strength. Then let's remove it. Unequip. Yes, I want to spend one perk points and I want to choose, let's say, legendary agility. Let's go for legendary agility. I equip it. Now I have this legendary agility. I cannot upgrade it because if I want to upgrade, it's 100 perks to be scrapped to upgrade it once. Then it's go 150 and uh, 200. 
than to max out a perk card, you need 450 perk points, which means 450 perk cards need to be scrapped at this moment. Okay, and now, as you can see, I was maxed out at agility, now my agility is higher, it's 13, and I have one unused point. And for this reason, it's very useful, like, you can have more than one special, you can have like multiple special max out at 15 and you can equip more perks. I skip one card. I almost forgot to say something about the best one. Master Infiltrator. This one, auto unlock skill zero terminals and locks and gives you plus three to lockpick and hacking skills. And when you max it out, it will auto open and auto hack skill free terminals and locks. This one I'm going to take, maybe even first. I'm not sure yet, but this is such a great perk. All those hacking and lock picking just from a legendary. This one feels the most like this one feels like a true legendary perk card. This one. Oh, and this is L. Oh, I almost forget about this one as well. There is no pictures, whatever reason, not showing for me. Some back, probably. Nuclear proliferator. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, it generates lightweight mini nukes for you. This is a goofy one, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know who figured out this is a good idea, but yeah, just a goofy legendary perk card. I don't know if anyone will use it. Lightweight mini nukes. Okay, now let's see what those armor sets actually mean and ammo crafting, how ammo crafting is working. Okay, first, let's make sure I do not have equip uh, anything for ammo crafting, nothing for ammo crafting. We'll equip ammo smith in a second, but first let's see efficiency of the crafting. I have this uh, per card rank 1 plus 50% and 50 cal. Yeah, it's working. I'm getting 50 extra. I'm looking at 50 cal because it's easy to notice. It's base for 50 cal is 100 per craft and 150 is plus 50%. Now let's see. How does it stack with Amosmith? Let's put Amosmith on. And let's see now. Amosmith is 80%. Will it be 80 ammo or does it stack multiplicatively? It's additional 80 ammo. Then it's, it's all calculated from the base as I expected. It will be just too good. It's already crazy good. Like I like this ammo pr production from Legendary Perk. And if we max it out, it would be like ammo will be for free. Basically, ammo will be almost for free. Like, look at that. 270 already. It's a rank 1 legendary perk. That's crazy. But I like it. That's like a crazy good. Now, at this moment, I'm wearing full set of unyielding wood. It's already broken, but it doesn't matter. And you can see, this is a new resistance. 50 fire resistance. This is totally new resistance we never had before in the game. And 50 poison resistance from the legendary perks. If I enter power armor, it disappears. But now question is, what means a matching set of armor? Let's test it out. Let's craft some sets of armor. Okay, let's do quick testing. I have full set of leather, light leather. Then let's equip this full, full set of light leather. Uh, she's super duper trigger a couple times. Do I have full set? No, I'm missing one. Okay, full set of light leather works. If I unequip one piece, I'm losing it all. Uh, let's see. If I equip sturdy leather chest piece. Oh, it stays. Then I have full set of leather. It doesn't matter if it's light or sturdy. Okay. Uh, what if I equip light combat armor chest piece? It disappears. I mean, full set of armor doesn't mean now light, sturdy or heavy. It's meant like full set of leather, regardless if it's light, sturdy or heavy. Full set of leather. That's actually good because it's meant it will work with secret service. It will work with uh, scout armor that are missing the classification to be heavy, sturdy or light, but are a full set. And it will be easier and it will look better because you just need matching set. Everything of leather or everything of combat armor or everything of metal armor instead of going for some complicated investigation if you have full set of heavy or not. Then I like this impl implementation. I like it more than before. Now just give us back the heavy duty. Just make it work with any armor set. Yeah, 
Bethesda give us back heavy duty. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. And one more time I want to tell you, generally, I'm happy with the changes they are doing. There is still a lot of work, but we have two months to go. And I hope a lot of issue can be addressed. And what I'm most happy about, they are actually implementing some changes. They scrapping per cards and, and introducing new ones and modifying some of the existing ones. Then that's always good. It means they doing some work. Not always going into correct direction, but there is hope at least. And some of the legendary packs are truly legendary now. Then that's a progress. I need to say it's a progress. It's not perfect, but it's a progress and we have two months to go. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.